Detroit. Walking through some abandoned buildings. You got 70,000 abandoned buildings in Detroit. There's rubble everywhere, and it's just a whole series of lost dreams. I'm walking around 3.5 million square feet of what used to be manufacturing. When I look around, I see guys working. I see guys walking, forklifts, driving up and down, big trucks coming in, guys welding, guys machining, guys fabricating, assembly lines, making it all happen. These guys taking pride that they make an American product. You got Joe over here welding. You got Roberto over here doing some machining. At the end of the day, the buzzer hits. They step into their house that they paid for with the money working in this plant. That's what this country's supposed to be like. You take these manufacturing plants out and Joe's looking for a job. Roberto's looking for work. All the guys that were just in here working, loading trucks, they're all looking for work. Manufacturing is the answer. We need to put Americans back to work. Back in 2000, at the turn of the century, our government fought to get China into the WTO, the World Trade Organization. They said that it's gonna open up Chinese borders for our products. But the truth was, those big businesses wanted to do manufacturing with cheap labor in other countries to make a better profit. Millions of Americans started losing their jobs. There is manufacturing going on, but it's behind closed doors and the public doesn't get to see it. Today is a new day. It's a new dawn. When you drive down into the city of Detroit, there's a lot of construction going on, a lot of positive things happening, a lot of new businesses starting to come up and they're excited because there's a glimmer of hope. But when you go to the outskirts, when you come to the broken buildings, it reminds you that that glimmer of hope is a small portion. Technology is through the roof. The machines are on a whole nother level. And Americans are only using about 30% of what is available to them. The days of running a few parts at a time are over. We have to get inventive. We have to look at the machines, the processes, our workforce, and figure out how to run hundreds of parts, thousands of parts at a time, and then run them five, 10, 20 times faster than anybody's ever seen. And that's what we're doing every day. Not only can we do the work, not only do we have better quality, but that we can do it at a cheaper price. We can compete with anybody else in the world right now. But lately, we've been giving it up. When we look at all the concrete blocks laying all around here, and this huge manufacturing building right behind us, this is a symbol right here. When you look at American jobs, when you look at manufacturing jobs, that's one job. But when a manufacturing plant comes in and actually creates those jobs in a community, you help spark all these other jobs. The gas station down the street, the schools, the stores, the little restaurants that the manufacturing employees go and sit down and eat at. We need to understand as a country that we have to protect our manufacturing jobs. We have to fight for them. That is what we're fighting for, to put Americans back to work.